Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. In today's video, I am sharing so many home decor dupes for items that are in my house. I filmed a few videos like this in the past, but I really wanted to like update you on things that I have found since the previous videos because I don't know if anybody else has noticed this, but websites sell out of their inventory so quickly now and some of those styles never come back, which is extremely frustrating. I feel like things only last on a website website for like four or five months tops. Not even enough time to really get like a sale in between there and then it's off the website. So I wanted to update you all with some things that I found for around my house, the dining room, the living room, the bedroom. So many good luxury home decor pieces at an affordable price point. So if that's something you're interested in, if you want to see some of the home decor dupes for things around the house, then please just keep on watching. Okay, first up in the dining room, I have three dupes that I found first is this dining room table so this one here is from restoration hardware she's pretty pricey but I found one that looks so incredibly similar the thing that I was looking for is a cement table top with some unique legs and I feel like this piece that I found has both of those things attached to my dining room table you can see the legs are really really cool it's intricate it's a really nice design and then the one that I found kind of almost has like an X sort of design with the wooden legs. So it kind of gives you a similar vibe. If you wanted to get this look for a more affordable price point, I think this table is a great option. I'll have it here on the screen so you can kind of compare the two. The main difference I would say is obviously the size and really the legs, the legs seem more of like a darker warm tone wood. But other than that, I mean, if you're gonna have chairs like this hiding the legs anyway, like what difference does it make? It's really the look of like the cement tabletop. So I feel like this table achieves that and more and I absolutely love it. Next up, I found a dupe for this light fixture. This chandelier is no joke. It's huge and it's heavy duty and I obviously love it. And I found one on Amazon that gives the same effect. So you'll notice that this one in the dining room, it kind of has like some raised pieces. Like it's almost like a, a jagged edge like to the chandelier. And this one that I found pretty much has that same effect. I will say that the gold is a lot more of that like shiny metallic type of gold. Whereas this one in my din dining room is more of that antique bronze type gold. But if that's not a big deal to you, if the price point makes it incredibly worth it, this is definitely one to check out. I love how this looks in the dining room. I think the one on Amazon would look amazing in more of a formal area as well. I just think it's incredibly beautiful and very well priced. So I'm really happy that I was able to find this. You guys, I have been searching high and low for something that even resembles this. And I think I did a good job because it looks pretty identical. Okay, next up in the dining room are the dining room cabinets. I obviously have two back here. These are again from Restoration Hardware, but I found some that are way more affordable and they give that same look. I really appreciate these cabinets because of the glass doors. I just love that I'm able to style them in inside and decorate them and have like really cool like home decor pieces that I want on display. If you've been following for a while, you know that I've recently updated the inside of these cabinets and I love them. I'm gonna open them up so you can see. My newest obsession are these Lennox spice jars. I just think they're so cute and different and add some character and some color in here, which I absolutely love. This is more of like a gray oak tone cabinet and the one that I'm sharing, it does look very similar, but it also looks a little bit lighter. I don't know. It could just be this cover image, but it seems to be a little bit lighter, but also in that cool tone gray wood. So I think this is a really great option if you wanted to do something similar in your home with the cabinets, but maybe you didn't want to purchase these exact ones from Restoration Hardware. Okay, next up, moving in to the living room. I found such a great dupe for this media cabinet down here under our TV. I have been looking high and low. I have found ones that are similar with a solid door front, but this one has a glass door front, no legs. It really looks almost identical, except for the fact that this one is two-toned with like a darker wood as well as like a gray toned wood like this one. I think this is a great option. It's another Amazon find, and I think it's really, really pretty. So if you wanted to achieve 
receive a similar look to this or you've been looking for a media cabinet that kind of gives a similar vibe to the Restoration Hardware one, this is a really great option. It's a way more affordable, but it pretty much is like the exact same. You can get different decor pieces, kind of like how I have, or if you wanted to rest your TV right on top of it, depending on the wall space that you have, I feel like this is a good option. Again, it will be linked down below. Besides the two-tone difference, I feel like another difference is obviously the size. This one is a hundred inches. So this one is a lot bigger, but it really makes no difference depending on your wall size. You just have to measure and measure your TV. I would recommend having a little bit of extra room on either side of your TV. I just like that look better personally. I think if you are gonna get this media cabinet and your TV is the exact same size, I would either size down on the TV or look elsewhere because I just think that having a little extra space, it just provides balance. Like it just looks more, it just gives. It just looks a little bit better. So this is kind of a look of mine on the side. I love it and it'll be linked down below. Okay, next up are these chairs. You guys, I'm so disappointed that CB2 has discontinued these, but I found pretty much an identical dupe. I would say this is almost like a replica. The way that the chair has these iron legs and armrests and how they come out on the side is exactly like the ones in the picture. I don't think you can get any more exact. Like this is really, really similar, almost to the point where I'm like, well, I guess I should have just gotten those, but I'm glad that I found them for you guys. I love the white color against the black. The contrast looks really, really cool. I just added these throw pillows on top, but even if you only wanted to get one, if your space only has the room for one, you could have maybe one throw pillow and a throw blanket, really get creative. But if you wanted to, I just think this is a really great option, a more affordable option, because I think these chairs were something like $800. So the dupes are in the 300, I'm pretty sure. So you could get two of these for less than the price of one of this chair that I have. So again, link down below. I feel like this is a good one. This might be my favorite dupe that I found. I'm just extremely proud of this find. Okay, next up in the living room is this sofa table. I get questions about this sofa table so often. It is another restoration hardware find. I'm sure you're noticing a theme here. If you're new, I went crazy in restoration hardware when we first moved in. I knew I wanted like my solid pieces from there. But now that I'm finding these dupes, I'm like, maybe I maybe I went in the wrong direction. Maybe I should have shopped further and tried to look for dupes for myself because this sofa table dupe is so good. It obviously is wood to give, to give the same effect as the one that I have. I feel like the main difference is that this one is a lighter toned wood. So depending on if you wanted to set up like this, your floors and your media uh, cabinet, if you got more of like a lighter wood media cabinet, it could really give the same look, but just different tones of wood. I still love this one. We use our sofa table so much. I don't know, maybe it doesn't look like it because it's just styled and decorated. But whenever we're watching movies, we put our drinks back here, popcorn back here when we're finished with it. Sometimes we eat on the couch and we'll put like our bowls or whatever back here when we're done and just hang out, chill and relax. Especially if Rob and I are working from home and we have like a bunch of our supplies, chargers, what have you like the top of this sofa table really gets used i do not see myself ever having just a sofa without a sofa table because we use it all the time it really comes in handy it's a nice place to be able to put things but also underneath because it's open i have a basket over here with blankets you could put ottomans here maybe if you have a smaller space and you want another seating option ottomans would be a great idea because you could pull them out if you have guests and put place them either in front of the couch or next to the couch to add more seating for your guests so that they can kind of gather around with you. So the possibilities are really endless. We have a candle up here. Like I said, it's kind of styled right now just for the sake of the video and content that I film, but this is just a great like utilization of space. And I also think it kind of ends off the living room. Like it divides this space in a more polished way. So instead of just having the back of your couch show it almost, I don't want to say it looks undone, but something about adding a sofa table, you're like, oh, now it's actually done. Like it's actually finished. Like this is the end of the room and we can move on to a different section of the home. I don't know if that makes sense, but I just really appreciate this sofa table. The one that I found is really good as well. Highly, highly recommend. Okay, guys, next up is our bedroom.
bedroom, I found three dupes to the items in this space. The first being these swivel chairs. I love these. It's like a boucle material. And surprisingly, I do sit in these more than I kind of thought that I would. Like I honestly got them because they were pretty and I needed something in the front of the bed. It's kind of a similar concept to having a sofa table at the end of the couch. I feel like a bed is not really finished being like decorated and styled without at least like a bench, a couple ottomans, some accent chairs in front of it to kind of just like end this space off and transition into like the walkway. I don't know. So I feel like these chairs are a really great option. Love how the white kind of pops off of our blue bedding up here. I think it looks really, really pretty. The dupe version of these come in a set of two, which is perfect. And it's in the $200 range, which I could not believe. So I feel like if you want this look, this is a really great option. I mean, it's always nice when you can get chairs in like a set of two or a set of three, knowing good and well you were gonna purchase two or three or four to begin with. So I can really appreciate this. I love the white color, you know me. I love my neutrals. You could put a throw pillow on these would be really pretty. I just have this kind of throw blanket from Home Goods like draped over top of it just to give it some cozy vibes. But I think this is a really great option. It's a swivel chair, so they turn just like these do as well. And I'm obsessed with them. Okay, so next up is this mirror. This is the infamous anthropology primrose mirror. It's the largest size. I'm pretty sure this is like seven feet or something like that. I found one that is very, very similar. So I love the detailing up at the top and as well as down the leg. The dupe version does not have the detail going down the leg, but up at the top is pretty much the exact same. The only difference is obviously the size. It's not the exact size, but for the price, you still get that same kind of vibe. And depending on the size of your room, that's why with these dupe videos, I try not to harp too much on like the size of the item because really like all of our homes are different. So you might not have as much wall space as I do in this room. So this will be perfect. Like if you have a different size room, that mirror is gonna work better in your space anyway. And it's cheaper. So like it's a win-win. I just look for the style and visually if it looks similar and it's the same colors and things like that. And this checks all those boxes. Boxes. I love it. I think it's beautiful. The same black color. And I feel like it just adds something to the space. It's really nice. I take selfies in this mirror. If you've seen on Instagram, I just absolutely love it. I think it's really, really pretty. This is such a great option and so, so affordable. Okay. And moving on to our actual bed. I feel like I'm constantly trying to find a dupe for this bed. This is a shagreen material up here. I'll get closer so that you can see and it's just really hard to find. I don't know, like Restoration Hardware must have bought all the shagreen because no other companies make shagreen furniture. I've seen a couple online, but it is just very hard to find. So this one is wooden, but again, stylistically and like visually, it looks so similar. So it kind of has the tufted headboard that's upholstered and like a darker frame around it, as well as going down um, the like perimeter perimeter of the bed. I think it just looks very, very similar and it's a fraction of the price, which we love. And so if you really just want this look, this bed, those chairs, the mirror, like all of it put together will look so similar to this. I'm also going to link pretty much every single thing in the three rooms that I showed you. So if you see something else that I did not mention on camera, definitely click in the link in my description box because it's probably there. This bed is such a great option, very affordable, definitely recommend it. Okay, you guys, and that is pretty much it. Those are all of my home decor furniture dupes that are in my house. Well, dupes for things in my house that I recommend, but I also am gonna keep in mind to like film more of these videos so that you can find home decor that's way more affordable, that can give you the same look as like luxury, like high-end things. So yeah, you guys, I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Up, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification so you never miss an upload. And we, all of my dupes, we will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.